Apple Sunday, y'all. <laughs> Happy God and Simple Sunday. Come on, come on into the room. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Take your shoes off. Have some nice rose tea like our sister was having the other day. Yes. Woo! We are celebrating day number seven of the African Goddess Initiation Summer Festival. Now, it's day seven of nine of the live days. And so tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are back on Hay House. And then on Tuesday, Tuesday, all of you who ordered the book already will get it in the mail. African Goddess Initiation Sacred Rituals for Self-Love, Prosperity, and Joy. And you can order this book right this minute and get it on Tuesday at tinyurl.com slash thegoddessbook. tinyurl.com slash the goddess book. <laughs> One more time. I grew up in the info, infomercial era. Tinyurl.com slash the goddess book. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to begin with our gratitude in a little bit, but I want to tell you the goddesses that we're celebrating today. All right. So we ready? And thank you for sending me all of your pictures of you dressed in your goddess gear. I am loving them. I am loving, loving, loving them. And for those of you who said that I could share them, I will share them. Speaking of sharing, Facebook people, hit the share button. Bring some more folks into the room. I know that the time changes in the festival are confusing to some. So people were showing up still at 6 o'clock. No, today we are at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is our regular Goddess Temple Sunday slot. Tomorrow we are back at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So here are the goddesses that we are celebrating today. We're celebrating two magical African goddesses. So we are celebrating... Goddess Sachi, who is a phenomenal woman who deserved much better, and she is in the temple of ancestors of the book. I'm not going to go deeply into her today because she deserves more time than we can dedicate in this Goddess Temple Sunday. Um, so we will talk about her at another point in time, but you can read all about her here in the book you are already familiar with her she is known as the hot and hot venus and so here is her card she is in the deck yes we deify her we pay homage to this goddess we reclaim her we take back her story and her power you may know her, like I said, as the Hot and Tot Venus or Sarah Bartman. We acknowledge her by her true name, Goddess Sauchi. Yes, and here she is. Here she is. Here she is. We acknowledge, we take back, we reclaim the power of our ancestors, our cultural ancestors, as well as our blood ancestors. So we have Goddess Sauchi, and we also have ma'am kumba bang ma'am kumba bang she is the goddess of the river in saint louis senegal yes there is a saint louis in senegal ma'am kumba bang she protects the the mouth of the river and this goddess is fierce as you can see on the card it says speak up this is my uh my cards that are not available until october but you can pre-order them on Amazon at the moment, African Goddess Rising Oracle Deck that works together with this book. So Mam Kumba Bang is all about being seen and heard and reclaiming your voice. So I'm gonna give away two gifts today because I forgot to give away one yesterday. Two Hay House Unlimited Audio app free, you get a free year if you only if you have not already uh, signed up for it. If you let me know what kind of offerings people put in the river for Mam Kumba Bang, guess and see if you can tell me. Let me show you her in the book. And then let's get into some gratitude. That is Mam Kumba Bang. Yes. 
And shout out to my goddess artist, Destiny, working with an artist who, when I said, you know what, I'm going to need a, a pick in her hair with a fist in it. And she got it immediately. And boom, there it is. Yes, yes, boom. There it is, yes. Speaking up, being seen, being heard, but not for purposes of vanity, for the purposes of owning your voice, reclaiming your power and the power of your community around you and saying what you have to say. Type into the comments, I say what I have to say. I say what I have to say, yes. <laughs> I say what I have to say. And let's get into some gratitude. All right. So let's just tune in. Oh. Let's just tune in to the energy of the circle. I'm going to allow my energy to just be relaxed and surrendered. Because it has been a full and magical week as we've been putting together this African Goddess Initiation Festival for you with all the interviews and everything you can sign into at africangoddessclub.com. But it is a lot of work. So I'm just going to just surrender. Let's just surrender and let's just breathe. Nice big inhale. And exhale. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Feel that moment of calm. And how often do we give ourselves the moment to just breathe? Yes, come present and feel into the energy of our sacred circle, our sacred goddess circle of all of us who are gathered here today, all of us who will gather around this circle to come, all of us who have gathered, gathered around this circle in the past, we are all here together. Spiritual beings having this human experience, feel it. Ooh, I feel your energy. Can you feel mine? Feel it, feel into each other's energy. And I want you to energetically Take the hand of the sister to the left of you. Maybe she is in St. Louis, Senegal, at the mouth of the river, giving offerings to Goddess Mam Kumba Bang. Ooh, and I want you to take the hand ah, of the sister to the right of you. Maybe she's in Jamaica, yes, where yesterday we were talking about Queen Mother Nani of Jamaica. Ah, and she's preparing for the August 1st Emancipation Celebrations in Jamaica. And we bring it all together, giving praise. And we say, Mother, Father, God, thank you so very much for bringing us together in this beautiful sacred circle. Thank you for giving us the gift of aliveness, the gift of awakeness, opening our eyes today and letting us know as we come together in this sacred circle that if we were chosen, if we were chosen for another day to be here with you enjoying this beautiful, glorious earth that you have gifted us with, our purpose is not yet complete. Thank you for allowing us, if we do not know our purpose, to know that you have this day, this day is your infinity, to tune in, to tap in, to turn on to that purpose and discover it if you are not yet living it. Thank you for helping us to manifest this circle, helping us to find each other on this vast and beautiful planet. Whew. And thank you for giving us the voice, for giving us the courage, for giving us the well-being, for giving us the abundance, for giving us the purpose, for giving us the truth to come together, to be seen, to be heard to tell our truth, to tell our story, and to tell your story. 
and for this we are so very grateful. Help us at any moment to remind us where you would have us go, what you would have us say, do. Wait, let's begin again. Thank you at any point in time for reminding us where you would have us go, what you would have us do, what you would have us say, and to who. And for this, we are so very grateful. And in your name, we say amen. Ashe, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Amen, Ashe, and so it is. Yes. Amen, Ashe, and so it is. So as I've been sharing with you, I've been keeping the weekend broadcast short so that tomorrow and the next day on Hay House, we can go longer. So today, because we are celebrating Mam Kumba Bang and the ability to speak up, let's just have an affirmation, power bath of basking in our energy and coming forward to speak up, to speak your voice, to own your truth. And at the same time, you are letting me know what is it you think that they put into the river, the St. Louis River in Senegal, to pay homage to Mam Kumba Bang? What is it that they pour into the river? You know it. We know this. This is in our ancestral DNA. So see if you could tap back in. See if you could tune back in to that energy that you have within you. And let me know what is it that they are pouring into the river to support the river that supports them. Ma'am, Kumba, Bang, yes. So we're talking about being seen, about wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard. But don't get it twisted. We're not talking about the way that in our culture, you know, Instagram and selfie culture, which nothing wrong with it. We right here on Instagram together, right? I'm talking about being having the power to be seen because you have a voice because there is something important that you came to say say put in the comments there is something important that i came to say there is something important that i came to say what is it that you came to say so i see some of the guesses there are some people saying honey some people are saying flowers and fruit Yes, some people do give those, but those are not her main offerings. I'll give a hint. She likes white foods. She likes white foods. Yes. So what is it then that is keeping you hiding and shrinking? So many of us are hiding and shrinking. Let's right now confess it. Let's confess it if you have been hiding and shrinking because there is something important that you came to say. Just type into the comments, hiding and shrinking. If you've been hiding and shrinking, type into the comments, hiding and shrinking. Yes, Goddess Greer got it. Goddess Greer said milk. Milk is one of the offerings, and Goddess Laura said rice. Milk and rice. So Greer Turnbull, you are a winner. Hit me up, mama. Hit me up. You have won a year of the Hay House Unlimited Audio app, and Goddess Laura Alexia Pitt, P-I-T-T, -T, you are also a winner. She likes white offerings, white foods, and you pour them into the river to keep her calm. She also likes dancing. She likes you to show out. She likes you to show your voice. She doesn't want you hiding and shrinking. She wants you to show up and show out and do her dance. Move your hips, move your body, move whatever you have the capacity to move. Goddess Laura says, I've been hiding and shrinking for sure. Well, you showed up today, Goddess Laura, and you won your Hay House Unlimited audio app that has my meditation album amongst others on there, so you will have some tools to help you. Who else? Let's own it. Hiding and shrinking. I've been hiding and shrinking. Goddess Greer said, that's what Gammy said of older women. She wants us to speak up more. Yes, speaking up more. Come on, Goddess Giovanna said, hiding and shrinking hiding and shrinking. I think it's important for us to share this and acknowledge it with each other because sometimes we can make it look good. <laughs> Type into the comments, I make it look good. If you make hiding and shrinking look good, I make it look good. <laughs> and from the outside, folks may be like, but I see you. Yes, Goddess Michelle says hiding and shrinking. So from the outside, folks are like, yeah, but I see you, but you speak your, you speak your truth. You speak your word, I see you. 
No, but they don't fully see you. We don't fully see you. We don't fully hear you because we are hiding and shrinking. God is Lord said, I make it fabulous. Yes, I make it look fabulous. <laughs> Me too. And here's why we make it look good. All right. So this is a secret just for all of us who are here in the goddess circle right now. All of those at this moment who will watch it and in the future who will watch it and in the past too. Because linear time does not exist. Here is why we make it look good. We make it look good because 10% for you 10% for you, Goddess Michelle, Goddess Greer, Goddess Afua, Goddess Gira, Goddess Chimoda, Goddess Laura, Goddess Unique uh, Sandra. 10% for you is 90% for other folks. And not because you are more special, but because, you know, like they say, you know, well, I'm not going to go with that, but not because you are more special, but because you were chosen you were called you have a purpose you have a purpose you got some things to say and so you speaking up even 10 percent, you make it look good but we don't need your 10 percent. your creator doesn't need your 10 percent. ma'am kumba bang the river in senegal doesn't need your 10 percent. They appreciate it, but right now there is a you-sized hole in the universe where your voice is supposed to be, your light worker gifts are supposed to be. Yes, Goddess Vanessa says I have been hiding and shrinking, not doing my light worker gifts, being with the wrong people, and gotten comfortable shrinking my true process yes that is so important who you surround yourself with trying to tell your visionary dreams to non-visionary people is going to keep you stuck what Woo! <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with them it's the, the problem is with you <laughs> not because you're broken not because anything is wrong with you it's just that you're trying to share and expecting well why don't they believe in me they don't believe in themselves why would they believe in you you don't believe in you why would they believe in you it's you shrinking and then wondering why other folks are treating you as a shrunken person when you're shrinking and hiding trying to fit into spaces that are not yours trying to fit with people that are not yours trying to put your voice in places where it is not meant to be this is your time this is your truth this is your process Yes, Goddess Janice, she says the wrong people will sap your creativity and your life. Yes, yes. And at the moments where you cannot believe in yourself, at the moments where it feels too scary, either you think of your purpose, or if you're not sure yet and you're still figuring out your purpose, find the tiny bit of light, the tiny bit of light where you can believe in whatever it is you believe in. Believe in your creator. Believe in the fact that you were put here with a purpose and hang on to that little bit of light, right? Hang on to that little bit of light. We're moving into Leo season. So, you know, the same way like a baby cat starts to just a little bit before you can roar, roar. <laughs> just, just start with a little bit. Start with where you are. Start with where you are and stop waiting for the whole staircase and the whole path to light up in front of you. Start with just a little bit of light that's in front of you. Take a little tippy tip step. Take a little step, then a little another one, then a little another one. Yes, Goddess Aurora is affirming this is my time. Affirm it. Type it in the comments. This is my time. Yes. Yes, and that you will stop sharing your visionary ideas with non-visionary folks. Maybe they are meant to bask in your ideas. Maybe they're meant to benefit from your ideas. But it doesn't mean that you need to go and convince them to believe in your ideas so that you can believe in your ideas. No, start where you are start where you are yes this is your time this right now this moment is our eternity type that in the comments don't worry about spelling <laughs> this moment is my eternity this moment right now because this is what we're promised we're not promised tomorrow and yesterday is gone this very moment this moment it's always now 
<laughs> what time is it? There's this there's this watch that and I, I didn't get it. I saw it on Instagram, didn't get it. Whenever you look at it, the time says now. What time is it? It's now. <laughs> what time is it again? It's now. It is always now. And this moment is your time. My sister, Cancerian goddess Damali said, it's not Leo season yet. This is my time. <laughs> This moment is our eternity. This moment is our eternity. And I will share with you, you know, that I almost let that fear, that shrinking and hiding, rob me of my purpose, rob me of being here with you, rob me of this, of, of being a transmitter of all of this knowledge that my ancestors designated to share with you. So what are you right now robbing us of? What are you robbing me of? Because <laughs> if there's something that you are meant to share with me, I want it. I want it. Even if right now I can't see the whole vision, I don't need to see it. It's your vision. I need what you have for me. I need what you have for me. I need those gifts. And there is a you-sized hole in the universe while you are holding back on those gifts. This moment is our eternity. Right now, like it's got to stand and say now. Yes, now, right? Now is our eternity. Right now. And so what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? That is the billion dollar question. Goddess Shannon says, I will not shrink. Yes, no more shrinking. No more hiding. It's us daring to be seen as you are. Not waiting until you got the perfect hair, you got the perfect body, you got the perfect partner, you got the perfect children, you got the perfect life, you got the perfect car, you got the perfect house. I see you. You fit into the perfect jeans. No, uh-uh, we're not waiting anymore. Type that in the comments, no more waiting. No more waiting. Right now, right now, right now, this moment, no more waiting. This moment is our eternity. We are choosing right now. Yes, goddess, yes, right now. Yes, DB Sean. What time is it? It's now. <laughs> it is now, and we are choosing to be seen and heard. No more waiting, Goddess Aurora. Yes, we are choosing to be seen and heard. So people, you know, wondering, waiting, this person doesn't believe in me, this person said I can't do it. It's not for them to see, it's your vision. It was given to you. And so you bring it forward before it is easily taken from you and your creator gives it to the next person because we need it in the world. Are you receiving that today, goddesses? Yes. No more waiting. Right now. It is your time to be seen and heard. I believe in you. I believe in you like sweet potato pie and cook food but I need you to believe in you. And if you can't believe in you, believe in your creator that gifted you this day. Take the little bit of light and hold on, hold on. Woo! No more waiting. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what you do with the magic next. Today, you got to log on, Goddess Onika Mays. I don't know if you watch the TV show Lost Resort, but the black woman who was on that show, Lost Resort, Goddess Onika Mays. Today, she is our Goddess Guru of the Day. Log in free at AfricanGoddess.club, AfricanGoddess.club or AfricanGoddessClub.com. Either will take you there, AfricanGoddessClub.com, and check out her lesson right now. All right, goddesses, yes! <laughs> And I will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Hay House's Facebook and Instagram. Yes, goddesses, African Goddess Initiation Summer Festival Day number seven. Yes, we can do it. You are doing it. And I believe in you. So for now.